Hello, my name is Jess, and I am a first year confirmation student. I am Ben, and I am a second year confirmation student. We both go to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. Welcome to Virtual Sunday School Minute Ministry. First, we will watch a video about our theme, James and John. I know what you're thinking, Mimi. You do? You're thinking Roxy's directed the Fall Harvest Festival for years, but now that Chet's the director, is she really okay with taking a backseat role serving as his stage manager? Wow, I was thinking all that? And the answer is yes. I volunteered to do this because I care about the show and Chet needs someone like me because I know exactly what he needs even before he does. Is that how it works? I thought the director asked you to do things and then you do them. Oh, Mimi, I don't need a director to tell me what to do. Okay. Hello, team. We've got a lot of work to do, so here's what I'm thinking. Way ahead of you, Chet. Today is all about making the set for the show, am I right? Uh, yes. So, for this year's set design... Classic ancient world city. Good idea, Chet. I'll get the paint. That's not what I was going to say. We're going to set all of our stories in the great outdoors. Oh, that sounds great, and the exact opposite of what Roxy is going to do. Mimi, could you please catch Roxy and make sure she knows what we're doing? I'm on it, Chet. Thanks, Mimi. Great outdoors, great outdoors, happy trees and their friends. friends oh, and there you are, Mimi. Now, for the ancient world city, we'll need buildings in front and a tapered skyline in the distance like this. Um, Roxy? Yes? Chet wanted me to tell you we're doing a great outdoors theme. Oh, Mimi, trust me. Chet just doesn't realize that this is what he actually wants. Now, can I count on you to get these sets painted? Of course. All right. I've got to go set up the balloon drop. Okay. <sighs> there. Oh, hi, Chet. Um, Mimi, what are you painting? The sets. But this isn't what I asked for. I know, but Roxy told me to paint them this way because this is what you actually wanted. She did. Yep. Where is Roxy? Right here, Chet. Just finishing up the balloon drop. What balloon drop? The one for the finale that we do every year. I didn't ask for a balloon drop, and I did not ask for the sets to look like this. But it's what the show needs. Is it what the show needs or what you want? See, I... Uh... Oh, no. I've been trying to control the show instead of serving it, haven't I? Yep. Chet, I'm so sorry. I got carried away. It's all right, Roxy. We all get carried away sometimes. Now, I'm going to need you and Mimi to repaint all these sets, okay? You got it, Chet. Thanks. Sorry I let us astray, Mimi. It's okay, Roxy. We found our way back. You know what? We did. Let's paint. We'll put a cheery little tree right there. And we'll give him a little friend right next door. There we go. There we go. Now let's add some cheery little water ripples. See how they just paint themselves. When they're happy, they just jump off the canvas, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Anyone can paint. Oh, looks like we have a little time left. Let's have a big, friendly octopus right here in the foreground. Happy little tentacles.
What did you think of the video? I think it tells us that some people want to be the star of the show and be the most famous. This story reminds us that every role is important. Ben, can you read the, it, the story in the Bible that tells us the same message? Sure. This is the story of James and John. You can find it in the Bible in the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 35 through 45. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came up to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left hand, in your glory. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism in which I am baptized? And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and the baptism in which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left hand I is not mine to grant, but it is for those whom it has been prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began indignant they began to be indignant at James and John. When Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know what those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them? But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be the great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be the first among you must be slave of all. And even, for even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This week's memory verse is Mark chapter 10, verse 44. Let me read it back to you, back for you. And whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. Hello, Good Shepherd Sunday School friends. I'm here with Carl again. He's on the mat because he's just come in from the rain outside. Um, I wanted to share a song for us today. It talks a little bit about James and John and the things that we can maybe uh, learn about what it means to be a follower of Jesus. This one's called Servant of All. for others around you and your family or your friends um, and show God's love. I hope that you can take some time to also reflect on and enjoy the activities provided in the children's bulletins. Let's pray together. Please help us remember that even when we feel like we are small and not noticed, everything we do in life is important. Amen.